wisdom. Today's topic is an um, economics topic. So we're going to talk about the, the short run, perfect market. We're going to specifically speak about the perfect market. So this is an economics topic in case you don't know which grade 12 learners learn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak what you need to know. I'm going to tell you what you need to know as a grade 12 learner when you learn when you are learning economics so i'm going to start with the short run as i've said short run or short term refers to the period of production where only the variable for factors of production can change while at least one factor is fixed well by the way if you don't know what is fixed it means that something is going to stay the same fixed is the same so whether a business makes a profit or loss depends on the location of the average cost curve AC in relation to the market price when the business is in equilibrium. So that falls under a short run. So in the perfect market short run, there are several profit or loss possibilities for a perfect competition in a short run. Economic profit, normal profit, economic loss. Uh, some of you guys know these things because you have learned them at school or Maybe you're about to lend them if you haven't lent them. But you can, they are also in the test book, but you, you guys don't understand them. So I'm going to explain them in simple terms what they are. And I'm going to also um, show you the, the how to draw them. This is how to draw them. I'm going to show you obviously how to draw them. I cannot just tell you, but I have to show you. So this is it gonna start with the uh, economic profit it falls under perfect market economic profit economic profit refers to the profit that is made addition to the normal profit it takes a place when average revenue is greater than average cost average revenue is greater than average cost this is an economic uh, economic profit this is how you draw it you can see for yourself you see the curve line is an AC line then the line that you looks like Nike, I could just say that because you, all of you know what is Nike. The, the line that you like, like, like looks like Nike is an MC, which is a marginal cost, by the way, marginal cost. So it takes place when average revenue is greater than average cost. Profit maximized. Uh, I won't I won't speak about that, but this is how you draw um an economic profit. I don't think you will forget it when you're writing your exam because I myself didn't forget this because it's very, very simple. You just draw a line, a curve line. It must be under, a little bit under the line that is straight. So it, it's very, very straightforward. So when we take a look at the normal profit, normal profit is a minimum earnings required to prevent an entrepreneur from leaving the industry. So a normal profit, I could say like, You've made zero profit, basically nothing. You didn't make a loss. You didn't make a, a profit. You made zero, nothing. So the firm makes normal profits when total revenue equals total cost. We know that when total revenue, uh, I could make an example like the total cost is equals to the total profit. To a total profit, I could put I could put it that way. To to a total revenue. I could put it that way in in simple terms total revenue equals to the total cost which means that the business didn't make any profit and didn't make any loss you understand it's very simple business didn't make any profit or any loss it didn't make it didn't make a loss so when average revenue equals average cost this is it so how do you draw a normal profit this is how you draw a normal profit um the 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 Nike line is always there obviously it's always there so you, you shouldn't forget it but the, what, the thing that you shouldn't forget is the curve when the curve is under the line the the line that's in the center that simply means it's an economic profit when the curve is touching the line or not it's not over or under but in the middle like as you can see here that simply means it's a normal profit you didn't make any 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 profit you didn't make any profit as i'm saying so they we call it a, a normal profit this is how 
they call it on economics i don't want to mislead you and tell you other things but i'm gonna teach you what you must write in order to pass i don't want to tell you my own things so when we talk about perfect market economic loss which is which is economic loss is represented by a shaded area that's the economic loss i could just say um you made a loss actually you made a loss you didn't make any profit uh it is when economic loss take takes place when total costs are greater than total revenue that simply means you made you made a loss it's economic loss so this is how you draw uh this is how you draw economic loss when they ask you to draw and define or define define economic loss in drawings which is how normally they ask economic questions in exams this is how you draw it as you can see here the curve line is over it's over when you as I'm, I'm repeating again when you made a profit the, the the curve line must be under when you made a loss it must be over when you made no profit or no loss you must just touch the line as i've as you as you have seen before so so i've explained what is a uh, short term i could get back to it in a minute but now let me explain long run quickly a uh, long run or long term refers to a period of, period of production where all factors can change all factors can change you can just uh, put that into mind that in the long run all factors change it would be very simple if you know that all factors can change when you think of long run just think of all factors can change the long term equilibrium in the perfect market will be influenced by the entry of individual businesses if individual sellers are earning an economic profit at p in the short run new sellers will enter the market more goods will be supplied quantity supplied will be increased so this is how it works in the long run all factors can be changed it's it's very obvious if you you can use your brain it's like um i open a shop and i i'm selling a uh, let me make an example. I'm selling chocolate. So as I'm selling chocolate, obviously, if someone opens a shop and a third person also opens the shop and a fourth person also opens the shop and a fifth person also opens the shop, uh, my profit will change. It will no longer be the same and I will find myself competing with them and I will have to decrease the prices, things like that. So it, it's very, very obvious. So this is it. I've explained the short run and, and the long and the long run. As I've said, in the short run, I could get back refers to the period of production where only variable factors of production can change. Only variable. So you can just hold on to that on the short run. Only variable. Then in the long run, all factors. Short short run, only variable can change, and in in one at least one factor is fixed. So this is it. I've explained everything you need to know about the. Uh, the perfect market so you can you can subscribe and like the video and share the video so that you can release more economic videos this is a straightforward video it is all you need to know all the important things you need to know i don't need to make the video as long as possible but i've explained the most important thing you need to know about the perfect market so subscribe and like the video and share the video